Dr. Lindzen, you delivered a presentation today where you spoke about several narratives relating to climate change in general and carbon dioxide in particular. As someone who works in the sciences, what does it say about where we are today that you delivered a presentation about narratives? <laughs> well, it says that science itself has become sort of a slight irrelevance, that stories have been promoted over the last 25, 30 years and uh, they have completely redirected the science. Uh, but more to the point, they've also followed uh, Eisenhower's warning that uh, fundamentally, as the state monopolizes the support of science, it calls the shots. And so you have the scientists on the one hand, you know, on both sides, uh, Presenting, I would say, uh, partic not particularly alarming scenarios. But then you have the body politic uh, presenting something that uh, does not, by and large, have the support of science about you know, the end of the planet, <laughs> uh, but uh, resting assured that uh, the science won't complain. What is the cost of the politicization of science? Well, it's many things. I mean, you know, I don't think any field survives this degree of corruption uh, without losing, if nothing else, its self-respect. But uh, in terms of climate science, I think it's set back the field probably a few generations. I mean, uh, it, it forced it into a channel that was not describing most of past climate change. And so instead of trying to figure out how the Earth behaved, uh, the field was co-opted into a situation where it was supposed to support a paradigm that the government wanted or that the environmental movement wanted. Hard to disentangle the two also because the environmental movement itself has become highly political. 